folks. Um, <laughs> never mind the busted windshield. Rock hit it a couple days ago on the highway. Pretty hard, so he just he got a chance to get it fixed yet. Anyway, uh, rainy day here. Can't can't be doing no work in the woods, so I'm taking the opportunity to stop by my local favorite steel dealership here, uh, Thompson Outdoor, uh, here in Dillsboro, Indiana. And uh, I love this place. Uh, friendly people. Um, great, great store. Um, small, small business. Uh, but they usually keep a pretty good stock of things. Uh, real helpful. Um, always uh, go out of their way to answer my questions or, or get me what I need. Um, so um, I'm here. I got a couple things I need to get or and, and a couple questions I need to ask them. Um, it's a family run place uh the young lady at the counter usually uh that's uh answering phones and stuff her name's tanner um she's the daughter of the owner donnie um and uh one of the young men in here he usually sharpens my chains uh for me dylan really good good dude um and so that's why i come here um uh, because i i like the people um, and I like their service. So I'm gonna go in here and uh, I'm gonna, I'll try to get some video in here, but uh, I'm not just gonna walk into their store and video without getting their permission. So um, we'll uh, see how they feel about it and if they're okay with it, then uh, I'll introduce y'all to them. Yeah, I like, I like coming here. You guys always take good care of me. Guys had a run on saws here lately. I was hoping you guys had one of them two sixty ones in here. I kind of wanted to look at it. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. The only thing is, do you have a 360 or do you have a 362? No, my dad does, yeah. and he loves it. I would get it, like I would get the 362 for you versus the 261. Because like, so a 362 has three a three eighths bar and chain on it. A 261 has a 325 chain. Right. So then if you got like like this bar and stuff, you're running on your 390. You could run it on that 362. So all your stuff would be consistent. You wouldn't have oddball things. Okay. So. Yeah. I've got one small saw that I, I use yep. for uh, just lemon mm -hmm. and um, and I don't I don't use it that often. Yep. You know, so. And that 362 or the 260, I don't think there's a weight to What's the um, CCs on that 261? It's uh, 50? 50, yep. But it's got the intronic on there. Like, so it's like basically the fuel injection. Because if, if he has an old 362, he can have an old 362 and not a 362C. Mm -hmm. Then they improve. Yeah, it's that's like what... It's instant power. As that, well, it's like your 880 and stuff. They got that intronic on it. That's what my dad's... My dad's got this 362 and he likes it. I'm kind of right around it. I got the um, I got the 462 yep. and the 661, yep. and I kind of you know I, I'd like to have one. Of course, I'd like yep. to have one of all of them, but you know it's kind of I, I really don't need it. Right. You know. Yep. So, Absolutely. Um, but I was I was curious about the 261. Uh -huh. Have you guys had any of the 500s in? Nobody no. Has. Really. Not not in the United States. They can't push it because what it is the hold up on it. Is so that being a brand new saw with fuel injection and all that, they have to comply with uh, emissions regulations like they do on diesel trucks. Right. And they cannot get the tuning and the emissions figured out for the United States. Now, it's been over in Europe for almost two years. Right. 
Yeah, I, I'd like to get my hands on one. I'm just curious. You, you ordered one, didn't you? What, 500? Uh, it'll be on the next one. It'll be on our next order. So, is there a show, are they showing available right now? Yeah. So they are showing available. So you can order one. If I if I wanted one, you could order one. Yeah, I can me. order it sooner if you want one. But I was just going to put it on until my next What's, order. What would be the uh, price on it? I think they're about to be pretty close to that. MS 500i, 12, they retail at 12 and 9. So really not much more than that 462. Yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be like 19 maybe. What? Selling one. I have to look. Probably like, we could probably do like 100 off of it or something. Well, that's probably just if it's off. 11, power. yeah. That's just the power yes no bar. So it'd probably be like 400 oh. bucks with the bar. Hold on. What what size bar? Let's see what you, you can, can get. You can get 16, 18, anything up to 30. 32. Or you can do the light well, bars. You, you like oh. the light bars, don't you? Um, yeah, but I think if I did spend the money on that, I would want to put the bigger chain on it. Mm -hmm. And I think you can put that 404 yeah. chain on, on the 500, the 661, and the 880, right? Yeah. And I know you told me last time you can't use the light bar with that 404 chain. No, they don't have that now. So you probably, if you did like a, you probably did like a 32 on it, you'd probably be right around 1300 bucks. Do they have a, a 28 I'm uh, 404? This is Tanner, can I help you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My dad would love those McCullough songs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's last. Yeah. Okay. They have a 30 with a 4. Okay. For the 500. Yes. But not 28. Not 28. Okay. The, the, the okay. only thing in 404 is 25, 30, 36, 41, and 59. They do have a 25 inch? They have a 25 inch, yeah. And I, I can put that on the 500, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put that on the 500 and you can run the same thing on your 880. Okay. Mm -hmm. They'd just be perfectly interchangeable. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep, I'll send it to you. Yeah. So either 25 yeah, or 30. absolutely. We'll do. Well, I'm going to think You're about welcome. it. See um, is this the sprocket for that 390? It is. Okay. 390, correct? Yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah it's old school. And it's real easy to change. Okay. So there's a little circle clip on there. And I'm sure do you the pin's in there? No, no, no. It's on your saw. Okay. So, so I use the one that's on my saw. Yep, okay. Just undo that clip. Just make sure I always put my hand over top like this because when you pop it off, that's good flying. flying. So just pop it off. And then you just pull the whole sprocket off. Your uh, needle bearing will be sitting on there. Okay. And then you just uh, power. This is Tanner. slide that on. Take your little sink clip. Put it on. You're good to go. Yeah. Right. I'm almost positive like this thing will have a big groove worn in it. Yeah, it's it's the original one. I've had this all 15 or 16 years. Yep. Um, do you guys have any of the light bars, the 20 inch? I, don't know if I, have uh, I, don't think I know I have spray cans, but I'll look for you. Okay. Okay, I can do that for you. All right, you're welcome. See ya. Hello. Hey. You are. Okay, so, I'm fine. I can do that. You want two chains? Um, yeah, I need them. I need them. Right. Um, and I need to get another yeah, bar. I, like I was hoping to get a light, line. light bar. Um, but if you don't have it, mm -hmm. I'll wait. I was gonna say she probably wanted to steal like today. You know? No, she hasn't eaten yeah. it last night. Okay, I love you, bye. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to place an order. <laughs> I don't have like Oh, you're doing steel right now? Yeah. Uh, we need a 20 inch light bulb on her. Hold on. Okay. 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 Okay.
Thompson Outdoor Power. This is Tanner. Can I help you? Hey, she's ordering it right now, so. Sweet. Can I help you something? So this bar's uh -huh. okay. It's yeah, just... the bar's good. Yep. And I even, like you can see okay, right here, well, there's no okay, wobble in it, so it's not bent. So. And uh, can you sharpen this chain for yeah. me before okay. I go? Oh, Absolutely. He, so he came in, he brought it in while, somebody talked to my dad the other day and got it figured out, but I don't, so I don't know why we're doing it again, but he has a 441 and um, the cylinder scored on it because he used bad gas in it and a lot of other issues. I don't know all of it, my dad would feel him to tell you the issues on it. He came in and he was like, yeah, I called Seal and they said they cover it. And I was like, whoa, like if we don't have a number, like they're not going to cover it, you use bad gas in it. And he was like, yeah, I, I talked to somebody, and I was like, well, we don't need to talk to it. And he's like, this is the number I called, and he called Seal directly, I guess. So we were like, well, we can't warranty that without having, like, a number. But that was still here, and I'll try to figure it out as soon as I can for you. And he's like, well, okay. And he's like, well, if I call, and I get it standard, Can I come back with you? Like, that's fine, but we have to have some sort of number. How long does this usually take, Dylan? This? Uh, about five, six minutes. Depending on the length of the chain. Yep. Sure hell beats <laughs> hand filing. Hand filing. Yeah. filing. I, I'm, I'm so done with that. Years of fooling with that in the time. Yep, I agree. Came off my 462. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, that thing is my favorite saw. Oh, it's, a piece, yeah. it, it's awesome. Yeah, they just there's there's new intronic saws. They have such good power to weight ratio. Yeah, it's not too heavy. It's not yeah, I've got the 25 inch on it, but I've I've used it with the 20 inch. Yeah, it, it just goes <laughs> through. I mean, like right now. You just lay it on there just pull Yeah, through. it does. What's that do? Just tighten the tension? So what that does is it evens up your confidence. So it cuts straight. Okay. So I was noticing it was cutting into this side a little bit more, so I was able to adjust it to where they'll start to evenly. Yeah. And give you a good straight cut. Now, does it go? So it hits the rakers yeah. at the same time. Yep. Oh, what did it need to The back edge of the, yeah. the blade yep. hitting the rakers. That's freaking awesome.
how does it know when to stop? Well, I set, like this right here, the captain driving me, right there. Okay. And I haven't set it 44, which is, it's more than 44, so. I set, nine times out there, I stop it myself, just because, like, I watch them. A lot of places don't watch them. Yeah. They can screw up the changes pretty quick. So I've cut a bunch of them. Oh, I will. So I watch it, and that's just me, but you can set it in there to where it'll stop it. Okay. I'm just happy as hell I don't have to follow oh, this yeah. shit no more. Yeah. You know? I can't tell you how many times my, my chain would get dull out in the woods. Yeah. And you gotta stop. Yep. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. That's so cool. Thanks, bro. Yeah, everyone you've done for me is. Yeah, and you know, and that's that's the big thing for me because you know every every chain I've sharpened, you're gonna have some differences. You know. You want to just scrap these chains, yes. Dylan? I hate that, but I guess he 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 never he never run it before. Yes. First time really using a saw, and I just I thought, eh, crap. But that's how you learn. Yep. I've screwed I've screwed plenty up, you know, years ago. He had fun though. That's all that matters. Yep. He didn't get hurt. He has my daughter's husband, and I told him before we, before we went back in the woods, I said you had better make sure you're careful because anything happens to you, my daughter will never ever forgive me. So be careful. Tanner, what was that for? Remember that light bar? Three zero zero three. Zero zero So I, I went ahead and put that other bar on there so when it comes in tomorrow you can just drop it. Okay. So two eighteen oh one. Cool. Since you bought all that stuff, I threw a free chain sharpener for you. Oh man. You rock. Um Give me a, before I go, give me a price on that 500. I don't need it. Yeah. I really don't. Uh, I got them other saws that are. It's called 1300 bucks. 13, that's with the 25, 404. Okay. Yeah, ink stick there. Yeah, it's kind of one of them things. I really want one. I don't need it. I mean, I would use it. Oh, yeah. I would use it. Yeah. But I don't need it. So, um, But you know what? If I bought it, I'd never have to buy it again, mm -hmm. right? Never. Well, we, just, we just bought a boat. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yep. 
big 24 footer. Nice. Yeah. Brand new? No. I can't afford a new one. I actually I almost bought a new one, but the sales got pissed me off. Like I I'm in sales, so I expect, you know, some the other sales are gonna be like knowledgeable about their stuff. Right. So we go to this place, it was up in Indianapolis. There were six used boats I wanted to look at. And we set a pretty good price right now on a boat, you know, because I didn't want junk. Right. I want to be able to take this thing, I want to use it, I want to be reliable. Yeah. So we put a price range at 40 grand for each boat. Wow. Yeah. So we go up there and we're looking and he said, well, which one do you want to see? And I said, I want to look at this one, this one, and this one. They were 24 foot and held 10 to 14 people. You know, a little bit longer, but that's pretty handful. And he said, all right, we just got another one in on trade. It'd be a great deal for you. Perfect. So we go and the first one he showed, it was an 18 footer, held like five people. I'm like, you look at the nice boat. Dude, this ain't close to what I'm looking for. Right. <laughs> Not even close. And then we get up in the other one, the one I really want to look at. Um, 38 grand for a used boat and it needed all new upholstery like probably 10 grand worth of upholstery i'm like damn so and then we i was like what else you got and we we're walking through the thing and he said well what about this one i said well i've seen it online i said you know 65 grand for a used boat's a lot of money yeah it is a lot of money he said okay i said well what do you got in the way of new he said well we got i think we got one left he takes me up there and shows it to me I was like, oh man, that thing's nice. I told, I told my wife, I said, I like that. I started, uh, he said, yeah, but it's out of your budget. I said, how much is it? He said, 85 grand. I said, all right, well, we're out of here. He goes, yeah. He said, that's all we got. Said, no, it wasn't that. I said, you told me it was out of my budget. Right. I said, I didn't come here for the budget. I said, but it could have been 50 grand. It could have been 130 grand. I was like, I want to buy a boat today. Right. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, totally wife said, let's get out of here. Yeah. Then I got to the point where I was looking at so many used boats, I was like, I was over it. I called up this place in Cincinnati. I said, look, I'll order a brand new boat today. When's it come in? September. I was like, oh, right. What? I was like, summer's over. I'm done. Like, then he said, well, we just got this used one in today. He started telling me, I was like, that's everything I'm looking for. I said, I'll be up there in 40 minutes. No so shit. Just drove straight there, got there, looked at it for like five minutes. I just totally got south of it. Wow. <laughs> Have you been out on it yet? Oh yeah, we've been out. We take we took it to the river a couple times. Uh, then we went to Norris Lake down in Tennessee. Yeah. That was a good time, and so it's been fun. Awesome! Congratulations. Thank you. It just when, when did you get it? Uh, about a month ago. Awesome. Yeah. Actually, I know it's a month ago because I don't have to make the first payment. Yeah. Then Saturday. <laughs> I know, I I know that must have been a good feeling because I'm dying for a new tractor. Are you? Yeah, but I ain't just gonna buy some. Yep. I know what I want, yep. and you know, it's just a matter of I'm um, I'm saving my money up. Yep. You know, so. Oh man, how cool is that? Yeah, it was perfect because like I really wanted a black boat to so match my truck, you know, and everything. So you're. You got the black dodge yeah. out there? That's nice. So I was like, and I always, like, a boat with tinted windows, I think looks so freaking sharp. That's awesome. But you don't even need, like, you don't use the windshield on a boat. You know, you really don't just you're either standing up or just, but it looks so good. Right. And that, and the boat was kind of like a because I got there, the, the windows were already tinted and everything. And I, I was like, yeah, this is it. Man, <laughs> well, I'm glad you found what you wanted. Uh, oh, I knew. I was like, I was to the point, like, I told my wife, I was like, well, this ain't it. I was like, oh, well, I'm kind of done. <laughs> I'm done looking for him. Yeah. She's like, well, it was always next. I was like, you know what? I get in those moods, like, I'm either in for it or I'm not. Right. And I was like, next year, I'm like, not, I don't know. Yeah. Not even looking at both. I'm that way, too. If I go somewhere and somebody, yeah, kind of shitty, oh, it's yeah. like, you know what? I'm done with you. Yes. I, because you are not the only place yes. I can get what I want. <laughs> exactly. I'm out of here. Yeah. You just lost some money. Exactly. Yeah. That's like, I mean, me, like, when that guy told me it was out of my budget, I was like, I'm just sitting in the back. I was like, I'm never telling anybody it's out of your budget. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Yeah. They might just hit the fucking lottery and want to write a check for That's kind of why I don't go to Zimmer anymore and I come here. Yeah. You know, I, I felt like I was burdening them. Yeah. Trying to spend money. Spending money on, on things that I needed. Yep. 
every time I went in there, it's like I, I felt like I was prodding them mm-hmm. to to get what I needed, yep. and I'm like, I'm I'm done with you people. Yep, that's kind of how I'm at the Ram dealership down there in Lawrenceburg right now because it, it, you know, even though it's something so minimal, it just, it just hit me the wrong way. Yeah, like I dropped my truck off and it's its first oil change, and <clears throat> I told him I said, uh, go ahead and do the fuel filters and everything, um, and just make sure everything's right. Well, they had my truck, and he calls me and says, Mr. Randall, I see you want the fuel filters. And I said, yep. He said, do you know how expensive that is? I was just like, okay. like I told you I wanted I it done. Just do it. Like, if somebody tells us here, they say, go ahead and fix it. Like, right. Even if that bill comes out to $1,500 on a $200 lawnmower, like, they told us to fix it. Right. You know, like. Well, I'm going to call and question them because, like, if we call and question them, they're just going to get mad and be like, yeah, we want right. it fixed. But, like, it was 280 bucks to do fuel filters, which, yes, is a lot of money. And next right. time I'll do it, you know, here. But, you know, it's under warranty and everything, I'm like, do it. But he was like, oh, yeah, you know how expensive it is. I'm like, huh. Yeah. yeah. I've gotten to the point in my life where, you know, I used to do all that stuff. Yeah. I'm getting older, and I'm finding more mm-hmm. that... My time yep. is is more valuable to me, yep. and I don't want to spend it doing dumb shit yep. when I've got a few extra bucks mm-hmm. to go take it somewhere, whatever it is, oh, and yeah. say, you fix this, right. and I'll pay you to do it, because yeah. now I've freed my time up yep. to go do whatever yeah. I want to do, exactly. instead of spending three, four, five hours, two days, whatever, <laughs> screwing with something and, to yeah. get pissed off. Yep. So, yeah, I'm with you, man. Yeah, when he said that, he said, you know how expensive? Like, okay, like, you could have a little common sense, too. Like, it's a brand new diesel truck. Like, right. you know, this guy just spent some money on this thing. Like, yeah. spent 50K on a truck. Like, you know it's going to cost money. Right. Like, same way with, like, the people that buy our big lawnmowers. Like, if you buy a $13,000 lawnmower, they understand that a good service is going to cost them 350 bucks. Yeah. Versus somebody that bought their lawnmower at Lowe's and you do a $200 service to them. Like, right. Well, that's a quarter of a pay for you. That's what it costs. <laughs> that's what it costs. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Dylan. I appreciate it, brother. As soon as that door comes in, like, it's, Tanner just ordered it, so. Okay. In the next day or two. Um, I mean, I, I normally can't get here that's before, cool. like, I'm coming through here at like five, right? Five oh five. Call me, and I mean you've already paid for it, so we can set it out and you can just swing through and just okay. pick it up. So sweet. Yep. Thanks. No problem, man. Tanner, thank you. Yep. Anytime. And I will see you guys soon. Yep. Have a good one. Yep. You too. And that, folks, is why I like coming here. Y'all have a good day, friends.